The old race motor finally let go. Ooh. Ooh. Not good. Not good, fellas. Big hole down there. I don't know if you can see. You see the oil everywhere. Holes right there. Ugh. Not good. Car tore down. Figured I'd show you the carnage here. I've spun bearings and I've bent rods, but I've never done anything like this. So the cylinder four here. This is why you don't worry about putting rod bolts, ARP rod bolts on your stock rods. Connecting rod still stuck to the crank. A waste of freaking money if you put ARP bolts in your crap. And here is a valve. Apparently it broke the valve off and dropped it down in there. The rod's still intact on this side, but all of the, here's the rings. The old piston rings in here. And uh, here's the number four piston here. I don't know what the deal was with that. Usually they're Usually the, rod, the pistons back here let go, but so I don't know what the deal was. But here's the valve that got dropped, and it looks like it got smashed into the head right here. So this cylinder was junk. This head's junk. This one got beat up pretty bad, too. So I'm going to pretty much call this one junk, too. I've got another set, so it is what it is. I'm going to pull the cam out and see if it's still good. But there's my windage tray. It's supposed to be flat, and there's all my piece of parts right there. So, yeah, she's pretty much screwed. There's a hole right there, another hole on the other side right there. So, yeah, did some pretty work on this one.